If you're still not attracting what it is that you want, then this video is for you because I'm going to share with you how surrender, letting go and acceptance is an essential part of manifesting the law of attraction because this will literally allow you to tune into that energy of a new future. Now first, let's understand that our ego needs to surrender first. Our ego needs to let go because our ego likes to be in the driver's seat. For example, acting out of fear when things aren't in control or you associate your ego with your identity. The ego needs to surrender to the idea or belief that there's a greater purpose to you. And then there's that trust in the universe because this will literally change everything. It's letting go of the attachment to an outcome. And then you surrender the judgment that things aren't going a certain way. Now, this isn't you giving, your, uh, giving up and putting your hands up. No, this is you letting go of the attachment, surrendering your emotional attachment to certain things and elements. Instead, you hold the belief that there is a possibility of something greater happening, knowing that although you can't see it, your higher self is guiding you. And this is how you open yourself up, open yourself up to receiving. And the way to understand this is through the perspective of quantum physics, because it requires you to understand, to surrender to the belief that there are infinite number of parallel realities that exist out there and are available to you. For example, the one that you're being and living right now. And then there's another one on the opposite end of the spectrum. And all these are available to you. For example, a new job, better health, new relationship, new opportunities, a problem being resolved for you. You can attract them into your timeline, into your current reality by bringing your focus and your attention to the now moment. Now you might think, well, I can just imagine and my future will happen. But if your current reality, your now moment is made up of familiar limiting emotions, thoughts, constructed beliefs, unhealthy habits, and you move through them unconsciously, then that's a signal that you're emitting out into the universe, into the electromagnetic field. Because remember, everything is energy and frequency. And if you're not aware of the now moment, you're unable to draw new experiences into your now, into your current reality. So how much of your awakening day are you aware of where your energy and frequency goes? That's a question to really think about and you can journal this as well over time. The only moment that really counts is the now moment, not the familiar limiting beliefs, because that's you then closing yourself off from what you're trying to attract and what you're trying to manifest. But in the moment, the moment that you then surrender, the moment that you let go and trust that there's a greater purpose to you, that's when you change your signal and you attract like for like. That's you then closing that gap. So how do you get there? You do this when you bring your focus into the now through the process of acceptance, accepting where you are in the moment and by becoming present. You relax into that present moment. You forget about yesterday. You take your attention off your body, off your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings, your habits, your phone, your laptop. Because if that's what you're focused on, that's where your attention is, that's where your energy goes. Now let me give you an example. After I graduated, I desperately looked for a teaching job, but I couldn't find one. So I settled for a teaching assistant job at a school. But every time I was there, I was never satisfied. I always thought, well, if I had that other job, then I'd be happier. And I was constantly worried, worried about what people might think of me. And I was worried about their judgment and my self-worth. But I was just never satisfied and I just didn't want to be there. So that was my ego attached to the outcome and my ego needed to be in check and in balance. So as I was never really present in the moment, I wasn't able to attract from my heart the ideal job. I needed to surrender, accept where I was, feel in the moment, let go of those limiting beliefs and really focus on how great my life actually was. And that was actually lucky to have a job. And that is the process of accepting, accepting where you are in the moment and by becoming present. And when I did that, I noted my worthiness of having that job and I was satisfied. I was no longer in a state of lack. My emotional state changed. And as a vibrational being, I attracted the right job and the right job came along without me even trying. And that's the key thing. Now that wasn't me giving up, but that was me aligning myself up vibrationally, but not continually living in the past by those limiting beliefs. And when you do that, you open yourself up. You open yourself up to those infinite number of parallel realities that exist out there and that are ready for you to attract and bring forward into your current timeline. Now, don't get me wrong. I still went through struggles, dark moments and crises and all those difficult periods because that's part of the human experience that you came here to have. But through the power of awareness, through acceptance and through understanding the now moment and how valuable that is, you can change your life. You can shift realities. So when you change your vibration, this is you accepting yourself as whole. 
seeing things from a higher and different perspective. And by being in the present moment, you're not only changing now, but the tomorrow and the day after that as well. And you tune into all those infinite possibilities that exist out there in the electromagnetic field that are waiting to match your vibration. So when you surrender, you surrender you need to let release and you release and you let go of that control that there's a deeper level to you. So this is how surrender and letting go works with the law of attraction. Because a quantum field responds to not what you want, but to who you are being in the moment. Now in any given moment, you have the power of choice to choose your inner state of being. Because from there, you get to choose how you then relate to people, the external world for instance, the family or, or whatever's around you, because from there you get to choose how you then want to come into alignment with the infinite possibilities that exist out there. For example, better health, in a healing, bigger house, whatever that may be for you. Because in the power of choice, you consciously create an event that's right for you. So when you surrender and you come into the now moment, you're actively choosing to disinvest your energy out of the predictable known future. You consciously choose to release that. You take action from your higher self, your higher vibe nature, and you're dissipating it. And you make the choice in the now. That's how you make room for the unknown. Because you're no longer wiring or firing out from the same old brain signals that are repeating the same old patterns. The same old familiar limiting beliefs, habits, unhealthy internal dialogue. Now, it's important to understand that for surrendering and letting go to work with the law of attraction, it takes time and patience. But if you do feel resistance, don't label it. Instead, observe it and identify if there are any blocks that are coming up. Because if there are, there are often deep-rooted causes for that. And often, sometimes, there's healing that needs to be done. And if that's what you need, then that's okay. Just accept it. That's part of the process. Allow that energy to move through you, but don't resist it. And through awareness, you'll start to see your life shifting again, changing, circumstances changing around you, new opportunities lining up for you. And you'll start to feel lighter and better because you are letting the contrast serve you. You're not putting up a wall or creating a resistance. You're letting it serve you because remember, nothing lasts forever. And keeping a journal or a diary during this process actually really helps. It helps you to identify those blocks so then you can do something about it. Now, before I move on, let me just give you another example of resistance, because I see this quite often. And it's when you've created a particular image or created this fixed idea in your mind that you need to control something or your manifestation has to go a certain way. And that usually happens because you haven't really surrendered because your ego is still in the driver's seat because it's attached to that emotional outcome. In the awareness of now, you make that powerful choice, the choice to slow down that momentum of resistance. And you do this by changing the direction of your thought. And it takes practice. So then you tell yourself, okay, well, this just happened. I invited it in. There's a lesson that needs to be learned. And this is something that I need to release and work through. And over time, you'll forgive. You'll move forward. And you will let that contrast serve you. Because if you don't, you're then repeating the same cycle of resistance. And the more you do this, the easier it will get. And then you will then attract back the vibrational frequency that you're broadcasting out into the unified field. So our inner state of being is the most important thing because we attract, we create our future from that present moment of now. This is where new energy is available. So see every opportunity as a way to keep finding that present moment, that moment of now and create from that place. And this will literally change your life. When you do this, you will align yourself, you will bring into your vortex one of those parallel realities that exist out there in the unified field, into your vortex, into that present moment of now. So ask yourself, how often do you check in with yourself? Are you running on autopilot? Because remember, wherever your attention is, that's where your energy goes. So as you move through this process, you raise your vibrational frequency, you pick yourself up, you accept where you are. And then you're able to look at the external, the outer world from a different state of being. You are then choosing your point of attraction. You then change your emotional state from those lower vibrational frequencies to high elated emotions. This is you surrendering to your higher self, letting go through the process of acceptance. Remember, in this third dimension, it's not just a mind game. It's a vibrational game. It's an alignment game. And the whole universe is just one big energy manifesting itself in many different ways. So surrender and let go, knowing that you can consciously make choices and decisions to really attract the life that you actually want. So open yourself up to those infinite number of parallel realities that exist out there and focus and start tuning in your vibrational frequency that you're emitting out there into the electromagnetic field. 
understand that the universe is supporting you and that there's a larger aspect of your life and that you're an extension of source energy. And if you allow it through acceptance, then amazing things will happen. You'll attract wonderful things into your life, new opportunities, new job, new house. Perhaps somebody better comes along with whom you can create and have that deeper, more meaningful relationship and at the same time you heal certain aspects of yourself. And also make peace with anything that hasn't manifested yet because you'll feel lighter and better in the now. And tell yourself that, yeah, this is okay. This is a journey. It's a journey of growth, expansion and healing. And if you found value in today's video and you enjoyed today's video, then go check out this video on five ways to let go and surrender. As always, much love. Take care. You must there. By applying these five steps to your life and living cooperatively with the universe, you'll start seeing your manifestations come to fruition, allowing abundance to freely enter your life.